Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here, yes, in a different place, just because of convenience. And uh, coming to you a little later, if you're uh, always right in that early morning, I'll try to get this out as soon as possible. But uh, wanted to uh, come back to uh, really put the bookends on Bartholomew. Bartholomew, our disciple, um, son of Tomai, um, but really most likely the same person as Nathaniel. And so as we get to see that listed in John, the Gospel of John, uh, we also get to see Bartholomew in the other lists. But we also know through tradition, but also uh, through the closeness of other disciples, who Bartholomew was, how he actually got martyred, um, but also who Nathaniel is and what that looks like. So John chapter 1 brings us to that likeness of who Nathaniel, Bartholomew, really is. And so John chapter 1, um, and it's beginning at verse 43. John chapter 1, verse 43. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael says, Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathanael asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here is a true Israelite, in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. And Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You shall see greater things than that. He then added, I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the sun. Of man. Nathaniel, only known in the Gospel of John, Bartholomew, closely knit together, closely associated with the disciples, but particularly closely associated with Philip. In the Gospel of John, we could see Philip going to Nathaniel saying, Come and see. We could see Nathaniel actually hearing that invitation and going but then being revealed to who Jesus is, the Son of God, actually one of the first to confess the Son of God, Jesus as the Son of God. And so we get to see Philip and Nathaniel very closely knit together, and that is the tradition of the church, that they actually went out together as well. They went out into India. We get to see Nathaniel actually dying a martyr's death. Um, there's kind of two traditions um, that they have there um, of him is, that as he was going into his missionary work into India, uh, it gets pretty graphic here, but um, part of the tradition of the church says that he was captured. These idolaters n did not like what he was saying about uh, who Jesus was, what the truth was, and actually convicting them in their idolatry. And so they actually skinned him and beheaded him. And so that's what you're going to see a little bit of Nathaniel Bartholomew. Um, you're going to see some of the pictures from the traditional church um, of him actually uh, carrying himself, <laughs> kind of graphic, as I said, um, but also uh, somebody who's actually uh, known to be close to with that martyrdom and that art that's done in the early church of with flaying knives. But also, uh, the book of uh, the, the Fox's Book of Martyrs speaks to Bartholomew actually being kind of ravagely crucified. And so uh, we have these two kind of traditions. And the reality to that is it was the same idolaters. It was the same thought that he was in India, kind of West India. Um, and these people were convicted of his message. He was convicted of his message. That's why he was alarmed. He said, Rabbi, you are the son of God. And Jesus says, blessed. Blessed are you that you say that. But, you know, as he walked together as disciples, you're going to see greater things than me just being able to call you with authority, than me being able to just uh, see you under the fig tree and know you. I think that's one of the amazing things about 
Nathaniel Bartholomew, not known so much throughout Scripture, but it doesn't matter throughout Scripture as we talked about yesterday. It matters that Jesus knows him, and Jesus actually knows him and knows where to place him, knows where to put him into those places where he's going to be able to do ministry, be able to bring about the truth, even in amongst hostility. Brothers and sisters, what a beautiful thing to say that Jesus knows us. Jesus knows us as his disciples, knows what he's given to us, knows where he's going to place us, knows where the best ministry is going to be done because he knows us. And so in knowing us, I'm going to just kind of go back to what yesterday's video was all about. You know, say in knowing us, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really push us into any different kind of place of who knows us and who's going to listen to us? Jesus knows us. And Jesus has actually given us the truth and the gospel to do his work. And so, knowing us, knowing Jesus, we can be like Bartholomew, Nathaniel, disciple of Christ, amazed that Jesus knows us so well. But in that, it ministers to us so that we can minister to others. Brothers and sisters, Nathaniel, Bartholomew, great faith, great missionary, great apostle. We don't know if it's really Bartholomew or Nathaniel. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is he was a person of the gospel. He was a person that transformed lives around him with that gospel. State your name. Maybe you have a nickname. Maybe you go by your middle name. Maybe you go by like a lot of people in the Bibles of being able to say, oh, no, it's not Saul, it's Paul. <laughs> you know, maybe it's not Mar uh, John, it's Mark. Um, either way, whether we figure out our names or not, what our names mean or what that is, we need to bear this name. Jesus follower. Jesus proclaimer. Gospel liver. And so as we bear that reality, bear that name, may you be blessed this day as, yeah, maybe they don't know your name, but I pray they know the name of Jesus. And who are they? The people around you. I pray that they know Jesus, Messiah, Savior. But they'll look at you and say, I'm not really sure I know your name, but you live for something different. Yeah, his name is Jesus. Have a blessed day living his name out.